Conversations. Conversations with, with S.D. SD Booker. Booker. Children. Talking about children. Man, this is a, 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 a topic close to my heart. Uh, I love children. I think we all can agree children are the foundation. They are the future, right? Mm-hmm. Right now, we got so much going on. I've been hearing about uh, kidnappings, uh, the police, CPS, I, I guess sometimes the feds with these uh, illegal, these yeah. uh, the kidnappings, illegal takings of kids. Uh, we got uh, child support issues. We got custody battles. Uh, we got the school system. Um, some believe they're creating a pipeline for kids to go to the penitentiary. Um, we got all these things going on with these susceptible uh, sponge-like beings that are taking in all this stuff. How can we derail where we, we're headed? What is it going to take to us derail uh, this dark path we're headed down to where we're corrupting the kids and, and we can turn this thing around? Well, when you really think about it, it's back to what we said in the beginning. When the male-female dynamic is correct that stuff is going to stop because there's going to be a father and mother and again i i've been uh, connected with some people that were pretty high up in some places and they told me in some of the programs they've seen and uh some of those entities those abc agencies that they actually had programs to disempower the men because they felt like if they could take the men's power the women and children would be an easy takeover i believe it so what are they doing? You wouldn't believe what the programming, what they said, one of the main programs was to do that. Take a guess what, what it was that, that, that they seen. To, to enforce that? To disempower the men. There was one program that was widespread that they did, they've done to disempower the men. Oh, I, I, several things come they, to mind. They, they implemented pornography. That was the number one program they had up there for disempowering the men. Because if they could get it like that, they could actually weaken their stability so that they couldn't protect the women. Wow. Wow. I when he told that. me that, I was like, are you serious? I said, really? He said, yeah. That's the, That was the whole point of it. Yeah. Yeah. Pornography is at an all-time high right now. The viewing of it is at an all-time high. Uh, you can easily get it, too. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I remember when I was a child. We would hear about stuff, and you might find things, uh, a magazine or stuff that my stepdad had. You might find things my brother hid. But it wasn't just easy access. And now, I mean, it's, it's just easily accessible. And I can definitely see that uh, weakening the man. You know, uh, I always say a man that can, can control his sexual organ, his emotions, and his stomach will, will be doomed for destruction. You know, um, so I could definitely see pornography being a, a weapon of destruction. I can see that. But yeah. it's a billion dollar industry. So and it's, it's only growing. So it, what's the motivation to change? How do we there is no motivation for the powers that be that are making all this money. So how do we how do we change that, though? Like, is that even possible? Hmm. That's a really interesting question. You hmm. know, I, the only thing I see, um, you know, I know people don't want this, but the only way I think I see is a, a revolution. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I've, I've right. said this, but you can't have a revolution without blood being shed. Oh, yes, you can. How, how's that? <laughs> Explain that to him. I would love to hear that. You know, the revolution is going to be people like us right now getting on here and putting this out, putting our energies together to fight against it again. It would not take that many because positive energy is so many times more powerful than negative dark energy. You can't even compare the two. I would say it would only take a few people, a few men and women that get their power together to overthrow this. It does not have to be blood. No, it's an energetic thing. I believe it's an energetic war. It even says that in uh, Revelations, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. That's what we're fighting. 
there doesn't need to be blood as above so below we have to look on that that level above and fight it with our energy and and as you said before with the rise of pornography you're going to see the fall of the powerful man yeah yeah it's no seriously doubt. it's right it's there it's 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 all through there so yeah. we are wrestling against you know principalities and stuff like that this is not a physical war so much but it's 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 manifesting on the physical realm yes yeah yeah i mean speaking on children i mean that's at all time high children viewing pornography i mean that's it's just it's I, out of yeah. control yeah yeah it's free uh it's on your phone you have to walking around with a computer in your hand it's just it's, it's crazy um so picture picture this just envision this with me for just a just a minute okay so picture that you start having and it, they're going to be few at first but you start having a, fa a strong family dynamics where the male and female are understanding the energy they're they're she's bringing channeling this energy she's literally a channel um and he's he's the conductor so to speak i mean you can even look at it like a motorboat look at the motorboat and you know it's got a lot of power with a big mo a big motor and uh uh, maybe she's in that motorboat and she wants to throttle it all the way up. And, and I, I felt that way so many times where there's so much energy. I just wanted to throttle it all the way up, but I had to keep it all the way, the throttle all the way down low because I had no source to let it out to that could handle it. So if she doesn't have somebody that knows how to, to steer that motorboat, it's just going to go and wreck. So let's just picture this. Let's just picture a few solid family dynamics that start to put out things they start to maybe um create a alternative school or an alternative where they unschool those children they're, they're working together to create these little organizations all over the place you start taking back the children one at a time by bringing them in there so they're not going to be programmed they're going to be connecting to nature that's the number one thing maybe you know for schooling instead of being in books curriculums they are going to be out. Maybe this one has a horse to take care of. Maybe this one is going to learn to, you know, do cob building. Cob building is the most fun thing you can do for children. And it's so easy. You know, things like this. We're going to just implement little things like this. These children are just having the time of their life. They're expanding. Their minds are growing. They're becoming who they really need to be. That's true education. Who you really are. Whereas you go yeah. into these, these, these school systems, it's like, taking this big soul and crushing it down into this little mold and forcing it in there it kills the spirit the spirit yeah. gets depressed yeah and then think, what do they do <clears throat> they put them on drugs they say they have add and put them on drugs right right yeah speaking of the school system education children um i think that i've been a, a proponent of that that take for years that they're killing their spirit. They're, uh, the school system is killing their soul, their, their passions, their purpose. And, um, you know, I don't, there's no love. There's no love in the school system. Uh, there's no patience, no compassion, no understanding. And, mm -hmm. you know, I remember there was a time uh, kids look forward to going to school. Uh, but now kids don't want to go to school. Even at an early age, they don't want to go to school. Um, I'm involved with the nonprofit that I mentioned to you before, Destination Known. Mm -hmm. And we're about uh, being a third party liaison uh, between the students and the staff, uh, teachers and principals, uh, principals in the board, and creating and delivering uh, alternative ways of getting through to the kids and alternative ways uh, for them to grow. Uh, so we have a few programs that, that help do that. But there's a lot of resistance uh, to change. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So do you think, and I've been thinking about this for a while, do you think more people or all people uh, need to practice homeschooling? And that's and that would be the way to fight back through homeschooling. You know, I've thought of that myself. You you make a really valid point. 
I've thought of that and I've thought of how our, our culture is and our society is and how that, you know, half the time, more than half the time, both parents are working out. Yeah. Again, it gets back to if we could build the strong dynamic between the masculine and feminine, if the feminine was literally feeding the energy into that masculine the way she's supposed to be, and he's containing it and directing it, they could work out of their home and they could both be home with the children. It could be so powerful. I mean, there's unlimited business opportunities out of your home nowadays. Unlimited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The potential is, is you can't even, it's, it's even, you can't even anywhere near tap it. But again, they would have to be on the same page and working as a team and dynamic. And then those children could be at home working with them. And I believe instead of homeschool, it should be unschooled to where they're actually learning the family business. Mm 